today's video is all about compression. How we can get that correct strike, compression, trap the ball as some people call it. How we can get that pierce to strike on the golf ball with a little sequence on the practice area that's going to make a difference to your ball striking straight away. So if you are a new viewer, please consider following and subscribing. And also, if you do enjoy the videos we go along, please click like and also comment anything that comes up that posts a question in your brain. Stick it down below and ask me the question or request a video from me for the future. Keep watching to learn how. So we're looking for compression. Compression for me is squeezing that golf ball into the turf, digging in the dirt if you like. And what we see from the best players in the world, the best ball strikers in the world, let's put it that way, is they get big divots after the ball, they get sharp lean, they get that compression, that de-lofted sense of the club at impact. Now, in order to strike the ball correctly, we need to lean the shaft forward somewhat, unless it's teed up. We need to hit the ball in about the third groove to get the center mass match matched up in the club and the ball. And we need to do that producing, you know, less loft and hitting down on the ball to do it correctly. As I said before, if the ball's teed up or on a fluffy lie, we can get away with not hitting down on the ball too much. But for a seven iron like I've got today, the best players in the world would hit down on the ball about four to five degrees. And they would do that with about 11 degrees of shaft lean. So if you imagine this is your setup, this is kind of what impact's gonna to wanna to look like. So we have to really feel that and sense that to be able to do it. So the sequence, as I mentioned in the introduction, what I want you to do is we're gonna start off with some very small swings and we're literally gonna stab the club like that to create a very deep divot after the ball, maximum kind of de-lofting and shaft lean. And then what we're gonna do is add pivot to make the swing longer and more flowing and more normal as we go along. So let's start. We're gonna do it just with a couple of three balls. I'll grab another ball out here. We'll work into three balls. So the first one is gonna be very short, very diggy. Then I'm gonna add a bit more rotation or pivot and then I'm going to add more rotation and pivot as we go along. The back swing doesn't have to be long, it's more about the fall through pivot that I'm looking for you to add, okay? So let's just dig this first one out. So slightly narrow stance to normal, weight fairly normal, hands slightly head addressed like we would do normally and I'm just going to dig. So that one Love the divot, I love the feel of the club. Obviously it was very abbreviated, but in terms of strike, I wouldn't want to hit it any differently to that at all. Now the ball flight would be difficult for you to see on the cameras here because the light today particularly was very low, very straight. It probably only carried 100 yards, maybe max. Okay, and I normally hit a seven iron probably about 160. So it's coming down at a much lower percentage of power. But I'm only trying to dig the dirt there. I'm not thinking of it as a golf swing, I'm thinking of it as a task, and it's very important to do that. If I try and put that into golf swing, you see people who will just make much more normal looking golf swings, and they won't change what they're doing anywhere near as much as I want you to. So that would be shot one. Greenkeepers won't like that one too much, but that's shot one. So shot two, I'm gonna try and feel I do very much the same thing with the arms and hands and shaft, but I'm gonna add more pivot and extension. So the fall through will probably get to about here this time if I can. I'm trying to feel that the thumbs point down and the rotation is more. Let's have a go. Okay, not as good a strike. Divot wasn't as deep but I definitely still got the same feels of digging in the dirt with adding that rotation. Again, the more you do, the better it will get, no doubt. So the last one, we're gonna try and make this up to a kind of a three quarter fall through, uh, almost like a Tommy Fleetwood fall through, if we call it that. So the arms finish kind of shoulder height. I'm trying to feel again, I'm digging in the dirt, getting that shaft lean, but just adding more rotation and more extension. And obviously that's gonna add more speed. So the ball will go further, the flight will go higher, and we'll see more progression to normal. Anyway. 
So as golf shots go, that was the best of the lot. Actually had a little bit of cut on it, which is different to me. So it shows there how I've tried to keep that shaft ahead of the hit as much as I can. It was a good strike, it was ball turf. It was probably the second best strike of the lot. The first one was the best. It was the easiest skill because it was such a short swing. Second one was the worst. And that was probably the second best. And in terms of golf shots, that was absolutely fine. Probably that one went about 85% power, I would say, compared to normal. Probably went about 150 yards carry. Again, probably about 10 yards down on normal. 10 to 7 yards down on normal, probably something like that from a carry point of view. But definitely had the feeling of that compression, that strike, that digging in the dirt, as I keep saying to you today in this video, that feel. I want you guys to go out and create big, deep divots after the ball as a drill. So even if you stand there and sort of go, okay, that's phase one. Okay, that's phase two. And then this is phase three. And we really progress it through those phases. And you kind of got to master phase one before you can go to phase two. So if you try phase one and you hit it poorly, keep there. And the phase two is not ideal, keep there. And that's what I want you to do. You know, keep at that phase for a bit longer until you get it bang right. So I hope you've enjoyed that video on compression and ball striking with your irons and how to work through a sequence to get you better. So three nice drills or three nice sequences to make you a better ball striker today. If you have enjoyed it, please hit like and share the video. Also, please do comment. Please chat down below. Please ask for, you know, what videos you want to see in the future and ask any questions you have. And let me know how you get on with this drill also. Love to hear from you guys. You know, you, you know, I want you to be part of my community. I want to interact with you as much as I can. So also, if you haven't subscribed or followed, hit my logo down this bottom corner. Join me in my journey. Let me help you improve your golf and lower your scores. I'd love to do that. I'd love to help you. So lastly, thank you for tuning in today. Thank you for joining me today. Thanks for watching. Uh, being here today at the Forest of Arden, where I'm based in the UK. Love to hear from you. Love to see you here soon if you can get here. If not, I'll catch you somewhere 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 else in the world at some stage see you soon